Those of you following my blog on www.areresearch.net might know that from time to time I do uh, information security, user awareness trainings at the company that I work for. And since bad or malicious USB devices have been all the rage for quite some time, I thought I'd get myself also one of those tiny devices, like this one here, and I'll just see what I can do with it. Now, at first I was a bit critical um, to plug some sort of shady device into my laptop computer, so I set up a Linux box with the code, uh, the stuff that I'm gonna do in this training, which will basically be um, restarting the PC or shutting the PC down. And of course, there's another catch that I found it quite useful for, uh, which is to put a long uh, Wi-Fi key into a, a smart TV device. I'll show you that later in this video. I bought two of those USB devices from Banggood straight from China. And to the unsuspecting user, this will look like a normal thumb drive, like a mass storage device. What it really is, is something that we'll see when we run Wireshark on the Linux box. It, Wireshark can capture all the communication between a USB device and the PC. And if I set it up to listen to all USB traffic, choosing the right options here. Then I can insert the USB device and capture all of the communication between the device and the PC. So that will tell me what the USB device identifies as and what it does. In this case, we can see that it identifies as an Arduino Leonardo, which was to be expected, and also as a keyboard and a mouse. Neither the keyboard nor the mouse does seem to do anything, so it's probably in its basic configuration, like lo being loaded with a blinky sketch or something. But of course, you won't see anything because it lacks all of the GPIO ports and LEDs that a normal Leonardo board would. It does not do anything malicious, obviously, so we're safe to proceed with the next step, which is bringing up the Arduino IDE. In the Arduino IDE, as a board type, choose Arduino Leonardo, and the appropriate virtual um, serial port that the device is connected to. Now, if you load the sketch from www.areresearch.net and upload that to the device, you can plug it into a Windows box And after about 20 seconds, it will shut down the PC. This is relatively safe. It does not end the applications properly because it uses the shutdown force option, but it's pretty safe to the computer. So for demonstration purposes, um, it is a safe process. In the same demonstration, I've also brought up Internet Explorer with unwanted websites for demonstration purposes. So that was pretty impressive to the audience. Now that's not the only way to use these Leonardo sticks. Another thing was to use them to configure smart TVs. We've got lots of smart TVs 
at the company I work for. And if we have to change the Wi-Fi keys or configure a new device, we have to type in a really long and complex uh, WPA2 key manually. Uh, with the remote control, that is a real pain. What's a lot easier is to use the Leonardo stick as a keyboard. And I've also put in a little delay, so it will take a bit till it starts typing. And it will just type in our Wi-Fi password. That, of course, you won't see here. It says wireless connection. Checking the wireless connection. And it's connected to the company Wi-Fi network. So that is pretty quick and painless if you got to configure a lot of these uh, smart TV devices. Well, that's it for today. Bye for now.